Well, we definitely saw glimpses of that earlier in the tournament. It was Fnatic that ran into him on Mirage. RPK, though, breaking the deadlock, drawing the first blood in our best of three. And Device will come straight back in and make sure the tank has been decommissioned, at least momentarily. They can pick and choose where they go next. They don't have to fully commit or force their way in. And Glaive is getting information for his teammates. And maybe if he can call one of these defenders, the likes of Shocks, that opens up a lot of leeway to push onto the site. That's exactly what comes into play. And now Astralis spill out onto A site. This is a, a beautifully played pistol round from Astralis. Like we know that Glaive isn't always calling anymore. It seems like he's put his extra time into being Mr. Sneaky because he's managed to get right in behind them, do the damage onto the one remaining defender, even pull some of the rotations over to the other side of the map. But it's their T side. That's where they've been able to pull off so many rounds. The switch ups in pace, just how dynamic they are. It's a fast attempt. I, I like the change. Just rush into the site. You know that's going to be a little bit cagey for Vitality in these sort of moments. Only getting their first purchase on the board. And you having some SMGs. So you just run in, body them. They took a lot of damage along the way, but it really doesn't matter. And oh, this is the one thing that makes Nuke somewhat depressing a little bit as a commentator. And the decision making from Astralis with their two Mac 10s. We touched on this in the previous round about how they could just throw them into the gauntlet. And plus, when you're against a team like Vitality with Zai Wu, you know at every given opportunity he's probably picking up the AWP. And he decides at the perfect moment to actually back off. And because of the flashbangs and the smokes that he's hearing being tossed out, he can call to the rest of his teammates that they're here. They also may not anticipate him to be up close because he fell oh. back. And it's one kill and 90 damage to S attack. That was a tough correction. That was unlucky not to get anything else from it. RPK though rotates and drops the bomb more importantly. He's going to force a push and actually manages to get a second. He may even catch the second player picking the bomb up. Unfortunately, S-Tag is going to be able to cross back into the site. Device even wins a battle with the Deeg. And now it's a battle of the low HPs. Just 33 remaining across the whole board. And while unfortunately the three of RPK is gone. Damage actually as Dupree's toes get singed. And in doing so, he can fall back with a smoke in hand, but he comes out second best against Glaive. Apex gets Device, not anticipating the garage peak. Vitality maintain their player advantage, but the T's are now spilling downstairs. Shocks with the Orc holds the line, and that could and should be good enough to yield the round. On plant looking likely, but Astralis, they wanted to try and find something back into the round before allowing presence to be had and, and the problem is they're being closed in from all different angles Dupree's going to have to do something fairly impressive but Apex oh, he's facing the wrong way it might be the tank to actually take the brunt of this peak he's expecting Dupree still to be there and now they're going to try and pressure him together the first is clean though and he gets back down the stairs another one for Dupree it's left all on to shocks to try and stop this man he's been very impressive so far and more shocks is tagged down to just 39 hp he also doesn't have the kit so the time is ticking too far gone Dupree can just play with his food at this point and there is nothing shocks can do Dupree is not going to let him escape he'll go down to the bomb if it means he gets rid of this man and seven and zero fantastic round from Astralis and specifically Dupree with a bit of aggression to meet the oncoming Danes and Zai Wu is the spearhead behind this operation with his AWP first one goes his way there's no piece to really counteract but Glaive again comes in with entries and there's two of them right idea nearly takes down Zai Wu if he peeked in a little bit more aggressively he would have also fallen, so again Zaiwu gets the opening pick, and again Astralis comes straight back in. Device takes the head off Shocks. Vitality already have to just tap out and save. And they're, they're down 7-0, Tom. I love, this is I a love. nightmare. And it, it's, not, it's not down to openness, it's not down to anything else. We're just seeing incredible performances across the board. Device is running Riot. It, it really is. It's more like Zaiwu at this point. Like he, He's gunning for at least that number two spot in the world. This, this is meant to be the two best teams in the tournament fighting against each other. This is not, this like looking like an opening group match. Like Astralis just having a bit of fun, running Riot. Sure, this is a map that they're fantastic about. As said, like Vitality have looked really good and they're just getting domed. There's no duel they can take. Chocks, Misuta, okay, here we go. They didn't get the opening duel this time, but seemingly it doesn't matter. Zaiwu's also found a third, but Device is still alive and kicking. 
This might be one of the closer rounds, and just because it's Astralis in a 2v4. Device, 20 seconds, coming up through heaven. Looks like A will be the site of choice. They have Magus also making moves in A main. The timing probably working against the Danes. Device comes down, Masuda takes his head off, and there we go. Vitality, they've secured their first round, and what they're hoping is one of many. So anything from here, anything more, and I, I'm, I'm pretty much calling this one GG. Like, they'd have to be incredible. Nice start, though, from Zyra. Oh, okay, an even better one. He's looking for a third kill. If he gets that too, then we've got to start checking that mouse and gaming chair. But the fact is, he may have done the job already. Apex already on the lower bomb site. They're ready for this push. He's had a bit of a rough start, and it's not getting any better. He was waiting for them to come through the doors, and still Glaive finds the frag. Bomb has been planted. Getting deja vu, Tom. I'm getting deja vu. Zaiwu's picked up two to kick the round off. And Vitality, 3v4 with a weakened glaive, but good post-plant positions taken by the T's. It's one-dimensional on the retake. Oh. That grenade shreds RPK Zaiwu and Masuta, softens them up, and now they have to push through. Half of the bomb time is down. Now Magisk has dealt with no. one of the threats, and the Danes stand their ground, and they are looking infallible. Great smokes, great utility, and a great hold to boot. Vitality have conceded another Horrific round. This was a 3v5. And they let it split. Oh, and no! May be able to take away the remainders. Masuta just about holds on to save the AWP. He's been fairly successful with his aggression outside so far, but down to just 11 HP. P counts. He's going to get magic. Now, can we get the stat back on track? They've been good at winning rounds with him getting the opener so far, but the trades come back on A once again. A 3v3, a better scenario for them, but Dupree... I, I don't even want to know his headshot percentage at this point. He's been so clinical in these rounds. It's one of the best performances I think I've seen from him in a while. He's been unreal. And now oh, Shox has got to save again. And Vitality, they're simply buckling. Like, they cannot withstand the pressure at all. They're hoping for some alleviation. They get it momentarily when Zai Wu surgically removes two players with the AWP or gets the first pick. That is... Uh, that's unreasonable. I, I don't want to say unbelievable. There's so many words that you could put in in this case. It's unreasonable. Like, that that shouldn't be a thing. RPK, he's trying to take things into his own hands. I like it. Tanks aren't normally known for their speed, but that was a pretty swift entry from him. Another man advantage. Another round that should be good, but a nade combo with Magisk AK. And, well, we're straight back into problematic waters once more. Astralis, have a little bit of mercy, please. Have a bit of chill. Shox is now just being decapitated, and although some aggression round the back of Vitality maybe yields them dichotomy, where the CTs rotate behind the Ts, where we have both sides exchange teams multiple times. RPK now, straight into Glaive. There's the drop from Apex, and the last player remaining will be Dupree, oh who's God. in unbelievable form and he takes them both down this split second peak dupree just don't mess with him just just dc just leave just head home I, most of them probably already at home but leave and then come back home device he's still going zaiwu puts an end to his reign of terror but there's still four more players they've got to deal with rpk again is going to give them the man advantage but that never seems to last too long and again it swings back into the favor they need to kill off Estag, but he's got around the corner. And just look at the quick swing coming out. Magic's trying to help him. Shock's now left alone. Can he finally put another round? A second at least possible. And there we go. Vitality will at least make it two as the half comes to a close. But Astralis, <laughs> no, no one's even come close. That's what Fnatic did. They managed to win Dust 2 when it was picked. So you never know. Maybe that's the new play versus this roster. We'll see. Maybe Vitality have something truly phenomenal on the T side device, so he's going to have to switch guns. I thought for a second he'd get away with that, but it doesn't even seem to matter too much. Magisk has found a trade elsewhere. Apex going to wait for him to reload. He's trying to be a bit sneaky through the smoke, but it doesn't matter. Another kill comes up. Zywu trying to pull out some magic, try and give his team a lifeline, and they desperately need it, Vince. Oh my god, <laughs> I feel like I need to report this to pol this police, honestly Tom, like I'm witnessing a crime or something, like this is absolutely outrageous.
But even then, it's incredibly grim. Some deagles, you've got a scout, and if they can see this, there'll be 13 map points. Magus spraying into hut, not really spotting anybody. Glaive around the corner, getting himself one, sees the shadow of that secondary player, and we'll go back in for more. Our PK getting tagged from outside, and Apex tries desperately to force the play onto the side, but he has been drilled by the M4, and the same is happening. And additionally, two shocks. It feels to me, Tom, that we're headed to Dust 2 very shortly. Yeah, no, I, I think I'd agree. Uh, we, we've seen recently on Twitch uh, a lot of VODs getting deleted. I think this one might be tagged as not safe for work, and they'll have to remove that as well. Because this is... Well, I feel uncomfortable watching this. I'll be honest. I, this is one of the most destructive... Yeah, they're trying to spam them through the walls of Garrett. Oh, shocks. I'd love you to win this round, truly, but it's just not going to happen. 15 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have money for that? That's the really depressing thing, isn't it? They're taking a ton of damage outside. The vice up close with the FAMAS looking to put the final nails into the coffin of Nuke. But RPK, at least with the Deagle, will pose a bit of a threat getting round the back. He's been one of the top fraggers on Vitality. Goes in for okay. another one, and there's Shock. So, okay. Maybe there's some inroads left yet. Apex, aggression, looking to return the favor. Astralis was so rapid on their T-half. And now it's their turn to have to deal with that bit of medicine. As the time goes down, and that is at least the third round for Vitality. If nothing else, they're playing for a bit of pride at this point, and it seems like G2... They're not even going to sort of warm up into the second one, whereas Astralis will just go in with ridiculous confidence. They like running straight through multiple smokes outside Dupree. He's been ridiculous so far, but you know what? It seems like there's finally a little bit of a punish. That AK on device, though. A scary prospect, but Apex slowly dragging himself back into the map. It's looking like it will be a fifth round unless S-Tag and Magisk can turn the tide. Sneaking his way up by event, spots shocks, dishes the fatal blow. All three of Vitality, though, are healthy. No easy targets to pick off. Apex, the only one of the three that's got a frag, and although Magisk does hold on against RPK, no. hold on a second. Is it going to be another 2v4 clutch? Masut has had a quiet game so far, just 45 ADR to his name, but he could make amends here. If he can clutch this one out, but oh it goes down, God. and Astralis with another 2v4. The punch straight to the gut, as they've done multiple times, and Vitality have got to be gutted crumbling like especially over the last like six to eight months at the same time they've still got to get to the final so I i'm still looking at them to give a damn good fight and that's already a good start in the pistol round apex is going to kill off the aggressor of glaive device also very low and now they're going to look to try and pincer onto this a site and s tag has a mountain to climb there's no chance for him here sure they've lost two v4s they've lost three v5s i don't think they lose this pistol round vince they haven't lost the 2v5 yet, but Dupree <laughs> is putting a lot of damage down and he picked up 20 kills in the first map, so tread lightly, but they do triple peek him. So it's good to see them come straight out swinging and getting some success. Apex, though, has come out worse for wear in this trade against Device and then gets picked off through the double doors. Well, you can scrap all of that momentum because now it's been spun back around in the face of Vitality. They find themselves a player behind. This flashbang will leave and just completely blind. The second one's even better, though. S Tag with the Deeg has managed to find a couple. He's never going to expect him. Oh, my goodness. It is very short lived for the side of Vitality. So if they can put these down range successfully, then things could get interesting. Ooh. And speaking of which, Device has had his head removed. Apex spotting the second player, flicking across, taking Ooh. off the head of S Tag, the executioner of Apex is putting this round in the hands of Vitality and only Shocks has fallen as a result. But the bomb, look where the bomb You're is. Past it. The other side of the map. Oh, he's seen it now for sure. He must have done. This could be a problem. Like Dupree's now managed to find one more. Zaiwu is trying to sneak his way back around. Still only has a Deagle. They should pincer it onto Glaive. There should be no hope. And RPK just making sure that he has the kill down. Now Dupree of Dupree 
trying to play a bit of a head triangle. He's going to hit the footsteps. There's only 10 seconds left for the flash. It's perfect. Good work from Vitality. I think a crucial round for them, really. Jox is trying to make as much noise as humanly possible. In fact, he's even going to get rid of one of the AKs. A smart decision, but he almost gets caught out while switching guns. They line up so close for Glaive to get a double. He's going to take one down while completely blind, and he's being pressured by Masuta. He can't quite take him out, but he may have done enough. The bombs rotated in, but they have to be patient, and Shox is gone. It's left all onto the youngster, the rookie left alone, and S-Tank won't give him a second's notice. It's 2-2. Two, two. It's back and forth. Bit of damage, but nothing really going to stick too hard. S-Tank spraying down the two of them, and RPK and Zai Wu stand their ground. Open up business for Long Dupree with a flashbang accompanying him, doing a lot of damage, but running out of ammunition and health. And with his loss of life, plus device dying on the bomb, Vitality, not just with a player advantage, but now have control over the bomb site itself. Now the smoke's starting to clear. Glaive is having a quick look across, clearing his angles in the process. Mage is coming under fire. They know one of the two CTs is perched up at the bottom side of the ramp, but he's actually drilled RPK to the bottom. What? Mage is with a one dig and then goes in for a second onto shocks. It's going to be close. No, actually, it won't. They've got a kit. As well as with a beautiful retake. Maybe more of the same here. Long again, the battlefield that both teams have elected, but it only will be Glaive alone. Good. Place utility, fends off S attack, but a molly frag through the smoke onto RPK. A two for two trade. S attack tries to go back in for more, but now the AK is starting to rip through on Long. And even though Dupree will hold B site, what he may not realize is that both players are there together and the smoke is starting to clear. He will be tried, he will be tested. They have a kit, they have a Molotov. Beautiful flashbang tossed in, keeps them at arm's reach. Saiwoo changes up his angles but gets put down and now it's down to shocks, but Device comes straight out, lands the AK frag, they've got a kit, they'll have the defuse and Astralis bring us back to even again. He is carving a path through the Frenchman towards Astralis leading again. Zai Wu peeking up middle simultaneously. Shox comes in. He was the best performing player on Nuke. And a pretty rough bunch, if we're being honest. And Glaive's got a fourth. He could be on for the ace, but Zaiwu takes it away from him. 30 seconds. Low HP. Has the bomb, but no idea as to where the remaining CTs are. Flicking up into the head of device. He has enough time to feasibly clutch this. And Esther Tag is the last line of defense on A. He'll be playing this one a little bit more passively, a little bit more patiently. Hell, just give this fight away to Zaiwu. Wait for the cavalry to arrive. Make sure you double peek him simultaneously. Zaiwu so nearly lands the no scope, but on one HP, he's still alive. He's still here. He's still kicking. And you cannot disrespect this what? man because he will punish you. Storm Zaiwu oh. comes in and leaves nothing but carnage in his wake. That's outrageous. Truly unbelievable. Amar. The reward they get after finally breaking their opponent's economy is an eco. It ha it, we're in round 11, and this is the first eco we've seen. They do still exist, Tom. I wouldn't fault you for believing that maybe ecos are a thing of the distant past, but trust me, they're very much real. Okay, we've had this back and forth scrappy affair. Now the T's are building a bit of an economy, Astralis. What do you have to say to that? What is your retort? It's going to be long control. Flashbangs are good on both sides, though. Both teams being flashed simultaneously, and it comes out pretty even. But that equality has been taken away from Mages spraying up through the smoke while Esetag is laid in wait. Excellent hold. Only one casualty. There is the retort. And it's decisive, it's clear, it's resounding. No, he's had a lot of scouts, but no warp. It's just because the economy's been so busted, but maybe they can start to get themselves back into this now. It's another great hold. Four kills unanswered. Astralis were down. Maybe a little bit of motivation lost with that crazy clutch, but they're bouncing back with a bang.
as he comes round. There's a smoke in his eyes. How quickly can Vitality spring into action? Orp shot narrowly missing Dupree. He will live to tell the tale. 30 seconds left. Now the smoke's being put down. Not fully investing or pushing in behind this. Shocks goes in before the rest of his teammates. The Magus on the low HP, proving that this Orp is in safe hands. He's already taken down two, and he's shooting just to the left-hand side of the oncoming terrorist. 15 seconds, and Dupree needs to hold the line, and he holds it in style for the first. But Apex and Zaiwu still standing, still <laughs> delivering before Device gets a wall bang shot through straight in, forcing Zaiwu oh, in a one on three. He has no time, he has no life. Astralis will lead, comes the second half, 8 7. They have two smokes at their disposal, now being tossed for the cross. And now they can look to try and wrap straight through. Sai Wu, how is your aim? On point as always, even while flashbanged, he gets one. Now spinning around into action, activating this nothing but headshots to Sai Wu again. A 4K, an eighth round to Vitality, and Astralis have been comprehensively beaten down. Somebody should start building the set for map number three because Sai Wu is alive and kicking. Masuda going in first, trying to take some of the early damage and the brunt of it away from Shock so they can maybe pivot in. Mollies, flashes, smoke, all being tossed in. And no one's checked the tight left and Masuda's gonna punish them. Three kills and now Shocks can just spray in with the FAMAS. It's nearly a clean sweep. Excellent work from Masuda. But Astralis uncharacteristically make a mistake and don't check one of their angles and they get punished. He's a bit stuck here. I wouldn't like to be in his position, that's for sure. They will check him. They will frag him. Never really stood a chance. Had he have got one kill for his troubles, that would have been a bit of a miracle. Let alone withstanding both. Shock. Using those smokes, was hoping his teammate could come up and do a little bit more. And even though the Dink does connect onto Dupree, a 3k to the Dane, the Demolisher on Nuke. Allows him to stay alive a little bit longer, but he has to fend off against Apex and RPK. Molotov put down, affords him safe passage for the plant. Another Molotov. He just wants to rotate and mix up his angles. Get a little bit difficult to deal with. A little bit unpredictable, perhaps. Dupree flicking across, misses his brain. That probably is the chance that goes with it. And RPK holds on with his AK. Vitality regained the lead. Good round from him on long. He's, he's been a little bit quiet so far. In, well, I guess you could say in this series, because the, the first map didn't exactly go to plan. Zaiwu, though, second map, he's been anything but. He's looking to try and style on them. Device will at least close him out, but the damage is done. S-Tag, Magic, trying to close this one out. Trying to bring this back, but... Well, there'd have to be some pretty serious mistakes from Vitality if they were to. Yeah, this feels like it would be more Vitality losing the round than S-Tag necessarily winning it. But the second he comes around this corner, shocks with a perfect crosshair placement. Does dispatch him post haste. 12 10. The tease to at least gain a little bit of extra ground before they do go rushing into the site. The flashbang leaves one blind, but Masuta sat in the corner. He's the surprise. He's the man sneaking around in the back lines, but Dupree will deal with him. Shocks needs to hold the line. He's done a great job so far, but he has been tagged low. And in fact, S tags come up with two tech nines. Vintage Fanatic coming out of the Dane. And now, while Zaiwu and RPK do have the better weaponry, the nade even being dropped in, but the bomb just being faked. In fact, even an incendiary trying to push Device back. He's going to get burned out of the corner. In fact, he goes down, and Zaiwu finds a second. It's left all onto Debris. He's so low, the nade might dunk out Zaiwu, but it doesn't quite reach. And Device, it all fell apart, went completely wrong for him. Zaiwu puts just next to the cart. Flashbang will allow them to go for that quick peek. Whether RPK can hold on to some kills or yet, yet to be seen, he gets the one. Even while flashbanged, still holds his nerve. And now 20 seconds to go. It is looking grim. It's looking bleak for Astralis. Their woes continue on Dust 2. And they are struggling to contend with the threat of vitality. Five map points. And Astralis will make the most of it. They run in. Glaive picks up the orb, puts it down range onto Apex, changes up his angle. A miss from middle may cost Vitality at least one of these map points. They're still in this, but Astralis are hemorrhaging 
health from both Esetag and Glaive, and they look to relocate. They look to push in. Masuta, though, is taking the initiative. Push straight out of tunnels. Not a play that they've gone for just yet. And he gets the reward oh. with two, and it could be a third. Even if he goes down, surely this is the map winning play. And Dupree holds his nerve, but he's only got 11 HP left. And because of how long that skirmish lasted, the rotation comes in from Zaiwu, and it's gonna be shots that actually nullifies him. It's going to overpass Tom. One apiece. Yes, this will be a third map thriller. Slowing it down somewhat. The bulk of their aggression coming through in playground where they will meet shocks. But Esetag will be contending against two aggressive players. He gets put down by Masuda, who really had a resurgence in form on that Dust 2. Second best player statistically on Vitality. And now the top fragger of Zaiwu is moving into bathrooms, but he's not called upon because Shock is locking it down single-handedly. Knocking Glaive down to 7 HP, still standing, still delivering. <laughs> Shock's with a 3k. And when Astralis tried to breathe a sigh of relief after the initial bloodshed went in their favor. But the Danes are waiting patiently just outside of B. And some good counter nades being tossed in. This will stall the push a little bit longer. Masuta gets antsy. He looks and he finds the information he was trying to attain. But it's at the cost of his life and that's not going to be worth it. I wonder pressure that he's patient. He finds the pick, and this actually thwarts the plans of Astralis. They wanted to try and make a play off the back of Magis taking map control. Instead, they're going to have to gamble in for it anyway. The thing is, though, Zywood somewhat rotated. He's going to run back in towards the truck, trying to take the control back, and he lands the no-scope device on just one HP is going for the bomb part, but his teammate is defending him to his last breath. It's Dupree on 49. Well, they've got 50 between them, that's for sure. Both players coming in from the same angle. RPK looking to try and potentially find something around the edge of the smoke. He's waiting for shocks to gain position around the stairs. However, the time is ticking. The tank's the one with the kit. He can defuse the bomb from inside, but he needs to try and find the kills and device only on one HP. He gets one and Dupree the other. These two players have been so good throughout this series. So if Astralis do start to wrap back around through Connector, Zaiwu can give the early intel. Being that early alarm bell that rings out to the rest of his teammates. RPK has been sprayed alongside Masuda. And this is where things could get a little bit sketchy, but shocked in the off angle with the MP9. Spraying down two, trades up to the AK, and this round is still on the table. The bomb's been dropped out. This shouldn't be working, but you know what? If Shox is going to pop off on Overpass, I am not going to be a man to complain. Now, Apex is still healthy. He's even going to peek out, and he's got Zywoo alongside him to work one with the USP and Shox. As Zywoo was more passive back towards the A side of long. 40 seconds, though. Astrala still need to do something with this advantage. Throwing a smoke from A onto B to lock it down, and now the A-Slide comes in. That flashbang could not have been placed any better. You can see that the entirety of that push was in completely blinded. <laughs> and now Vitality hold it down with the M4 of Apex and the AWP of Zywu. The utility there could not have been placed better for the Frenchman. I think surprising the players on Astralis at least a little bit early, but there is Zywu with that rotational AWP finding the opener. In fact, Glaive's gone as well, and they don't expect Masuta. It's a cheeky little CT setup that almost baits some sort of security expected from Astralis. They don't check the angles properly, and Vince, well, in a 1v4, if Device really wants that number one in the world, I think he needs to go on better. He's got the first, and he has time to play with. The CTs don't know where the bomb is. There's the second, but 30 HP remains for the Great Dane. He will be able to get the plant, so that will be an economic boost to the rest of his teammates. But can he do anything off the back of that? He's about to get pincered in. The timing about favors him, surviving on 9 HP. He can now relocate, but he's being flanked. The key member is RPK, and the Frenchman will show his hand. Nice try, Device. His aggressive overpass plays, and he has timed this one to perfection. Coming round on the flank, the fake almost being sold. Ah! It's a shot, shot! Okay, he got there in the end. Oh, oh, and I need to breathe. Go on, take it away, Vince. That was nearly pretty embarrassing, but Shox at least gets one. 
So he can fall back onto that. He's put himself and his team into a player advantage. Off oh, PK, narrowly escaping death, but stands his ground. And Estetag runs in. But this is an interference play. He is trying to rummage together the CTs to the other side of the map. There is a rotation coming through, though. It's Apex getting around the back of the bomb carrier. And even if Glaive does get this entrance to Zaiwu, which is successful, Apex should shut this down right now. And Apex does just that. And this player stack with RPK is the last lifeline. The protectorate of the site. Device, though, probably forces out at least one rotation at the bare minimum. Keep shocks interested. This isolates the 2B defenders. Shocks at least stands his ground for one, but with 22 seconds left, here comes the main play. The main way forward for Astralis, and Masood is going to get two. As a tag, Molotov off, can't really push in, and even though they take off the head of RPK, it may not be good enough. 10 seconds, smoke onto that Molotov. They push straight through, wild spray through the smoke, but as a tag, he's been silenced, and that's it. The round's over. There's not enough time for Magus. 10 rounds already to Vitality, and Astralis continue to struggle. Win right on this map over the last few months. Only one of them gets to keep it, and Vitality seemed... Too hot to draw Apex again. And it's not even just Apex. They've got two players in on this flank. Masuta, he's going to double up. Maybe they won't even need him if he continues this sort of form. But eventually, the flank comes through. Now it's Dupree's turn. A one versus four bomb in his hands. He does have time, but he's not going to be given a moment's notice. Another couple of kills coming up for Shocks. And an 11th round for Vitality. Device. Nothing slow, nothing steady, but actually needs to be cognizant of Shox who's playing incognito in the smoke and now shows his hand. At the cost of Device's life and Vitality keep themselves a player ahead. Two remaining Astralis Danes are completely separate positions over the map. Could not be more isolated and Apex now puts it down to Esetag, the lone survivor. who Will be out the door momentarily, he's had a rough day at the office. On overpass with just three kills, but can he double up his frag count? Can he pull off something special? He's missed his first chance. That could be his last shot as well. Goes in for the first onto RPK. He's losing health by the second. There's Molotovs coming down. Has to smoke to keep himself alive. And Apex drills him through the smoke. It's 12-3 to Vitality in our last map. Stay tuned. We said they were peak on nuke since then. It's been a bit of a drop off. But can they start to pick up the pieces on their CT side? This USP is up close against the block. Dupree is holding on for three kills alongside Magus. That's more like it. Apex tries to rummage around the back and Glaive denies him. It's fast, it's lightning, but it works against Vitality. Now we've seen an aggressive push from Device. He can tell you quite clearly it's not going to be an a site push. The problem is there's only two other players to try and defend this. He might be able to catch out Apex, but that's about it, Glaive. However, does already take down the injured RPK, but that flank is not going to be coming anytime soon. 20 seconds left. The bomb looks to go forward. The rest of the players hesitated. This extra little bit of time could be enough for Astralis to throw a spanner in the works. They've got to be careful. S-Tag is still here. He's looking to try and deny the bomb, but he's shooting the wrong player. And although he does a hell of a lot of damage, it doesn't really matter. Glaive, 1v3, looking for the clutch. The mastermind of so many strategical plays on Astralis runs into the gauntlet of three Frenchmen, and it's Masuda. They've got short control. They've got a, a fourth player, in fact, rotating in. The flashbang's fantastic, but S-Tag will only come away with one. Device about to come under pressure. The peak coming out. The AWP shot landed. He goes back for the other player as well and catches Apex. Looking to do it all on his own. Sure, the next shot's missed, but he's bought some time for teammates to rotate in. It's left on to shocks, and he gets nothing done at all. Astralis with the reads. Vitality may be slightly overthinking things here. Magus, aggression. Something we haven't seen yet. Beautiful flashback. They line up, and there's Magus with a double spray. There's the two brains working together. Glaive with the flash assist and Magus executing to perfection. Vitality cannot get comfortable. They're being pressured. They're being punctured from left and right. And now Masuta, maybe he can take down Magus up close, although his crosshair is a little bit off. Still goes in for one. Oh, like the cross to the second. And all of that opening exchange has now been nullified. Now Vitality can try and split and pick against the Astralis and potentially go a player ahead. But Dupree with the AWP is too good. 
RPK, I don't know how he gets past this angle without getting killed. And while the trade is attempted, but Glaive has his teammates back. Another in a row for Astralis and eight on the board. Four kills not too long ago. Like He's been really rising up the board. And although some of them have been relatively flashy plays, it's been a massive comeback from him. Glaive now gaining in confidence as well, making some similarly aggressive plays. And he even has S-Tag to support him. Sure, Masuta gets the trade, just like the last round. But there hasn't been a second just yet. Although I wouldn't doubt him at this point. Apex and Zaiwu. With a vast test ahead of them, they will look to pivot into the site. If they can envelop one of these areas, but Apex, his life has been deemed forfeit. Zaiwu briefly caught. So in he goes, realizing all these angles could have CTs residing in them, and it will be Device with the Deagle that shuts him down. Uh, they, they've see, we've seen him bring back a couple of rounds, but this time he's got the opener. And yeah, for sure, I think even on the CT side, he's got a good shout for being the best player. RPK, though, that could be a crucial opener. Glaive looking to come in from behind, but Shox is ready and waiting. A free kill for him, and the remainder of Astralis have no choice but to save. It's been a long hiatus from the board, as you mentioned. Maybe at some point, it's like, should I go for it? No, definitely, definitely don't do that. You may get forced down anyway. Playing a ring around the rose, he picks up the AK, so that's a nice takeout. Astralis can't buy behind that, no problems. Of course, this is as a result of being 7-1 up until that point. You don't have any players pushing up around the back, but Vitality don't know this. They know they have to go in. The trigger about to be pulled. The execute in motion. Esther tag, though, devastatingly strong up close with the AK, forcing Zaiwu back. And with 52 HP to his name, He'll be hoping that he can do a bit of damage on his way out, but it seems inevitable that he will fall. Good first shot. His position now is no, not far off landing the smoke bang, which would have been pretty ridiculous. I'd like to still be alive for tomorrow where there's still plenty more action to be had. And then of course the big grand final coming up. We've seen them go for these slower pick-based rounds, but this time it looks like they want to put the pressure straight onto S-Tag, but don't peek his crosshair like that. I think he'll hit those ones all day long. And in fact, again, I love this from Astralis. The second they get a kill, they don't even bother fighting it at all. There's always counter utility. There's no opportunity for a trade whatsoever, unless you want to toast your feet along the way. I am absolutely mind blown. That seems like a fairly regulation kind of shot, right? But that reaction speed from Esetag was unbelievable. That's not an angle that you expect to get dry peaked at that kind of a position. That's full focus for 15, 20 seconds. Not easy to do. The second he was peaked, Apex had his head removed. 30 seconds left, Dupree taking control of Connector. This is massive for Astralis. He doesn't need to kill them all. He just needs to stand his ground a little bit longer, but he's gone down. And now that does put a couple of doubts, a couple of awkward moments in play, and Zaiwu capitalizes Ooh. with two big orc frags. But Glaive has guessed correctly. 12 seconds left, and Masuta on point with the entry. There's four match points. This is where they need him most. And they're building up for a peek onto him. Masuta manages to dodge his way. And how has Shox got here? You mentioned S-Tag. He might have just had that lapse in judgment. That second missing the moment. But Dupree and Device, they combine. They hold the line. Apex having to run through the Molotov. But Zywu's hit the shot. And now it is on to Device. One of the greatest players of all time trying to keep his team in the map. The flashbang's gonna leave him completely blind. He's been spotted as well. The push coming in. He tags Masuta for next to nothing and can't quite hit the second shot. And Zaiwu is there to put him down. It is gonna be the victory for Vitality as they make their way to another grand final. And Astralis have got to battle through the lower bracket. Oh, that will be devastating to Tom. Hot off the back of a 16-4 win on Nuke. We all thought.